Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to print this. What is this, you might be asking? Uh, I guess that's a good question. Uh, it's an insect. Uh, actually, I think it's technically a grasshopper. But here is my dilemma. As a grandfather, my five-year-old grandson came and said, I have to have a bug for show and tell for my kindergarten class. And it needs to have two eyes, two antennas, six legs, and so on. So what's any self-respecting grandfather to do? Well, went to Thingiverse and found a bug. Before we go there, let's take a look at, at how this printed. I used uh, actually TPU filament, so it's actually uh, rather pliable, and you can see a little bit of stringiness here left over. So I did a time lapse of it. It took whew, about four and a half, maybe five hours to print. I did it with like 5% infill, so it's pretty much hollow. Howl, 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 ooh, geez, you spit that one out. Hollow. Uh, inside, uh, but yet I did a little bit thicker shell so it'd be kind of resilient for being played with by a bunch of five-year-olds. So anyways, let's take a look at that and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about the bug. Time lapse video. Okay, so we're back. You got to check out the time lapse of uh, this printing. Uh, I actually had it set to take a take a frame every 10 seconds, so it should should go by pretty quick. Or should went by pretty quick. Um, one of the other things I did when I did the series on TPU filament, I had a lot of people ask how do um, how do supports come off. So as you can see, this guy's got a fair amount of supports now. I, I sliced this in Cura, uh, printed on the Wanho. I used uh, 250 degrees on the hot end and 80 degrees on the bed had really good adhesion and it didn't come off too bad although one of the things is I didn't wait for the bed to totally cool down um, before I popped them off and that I think really helped because before when I've let the TPU sit on there for a while after it's cooled down and come back it's been um, pretty hard to get off this came off pretty good however I want to show the um, the supports come off pretty good actually. So you see, I removed that support from his antenna. That didn't come off too bad. Um, it is it's not as easy as PLA. However, it's really not that bad. It's as bad as I had thought. I was actually a little bit concerned that uh, I might have a problem uh, getting it off. It is a little again a little bit tougher. But as you can see, it's it's coming off pretty good. And in the tail section. Some of this, um, to be honest, I don't know if I, nah, this, this one's getting a little bit tough, um, that I really needed uh, supports on. However, I just did it anyway because I, I, I really need to get this bug printed. I've been supposed to print this bug for a couple days now and, and I just haven't had time. Um, and I had another bug and it did not print so well, so I had to go find another bug. Believe it or not, there's not a lot of bugs on Thingiverse. I thought, you know, all right, when he came to me, he said, Grandpa, I need a bug. I thought, hey, I mean, Tinkercad, Thingiverse, we're going to have tons of bugs. But, uh, no, I mean, there's a fair amount of spiders and things, but spiders have, are, you know, arachnids and they have eight legs. He specifically, for the class, needed six legs. That was very clear. Six legs, two antennas, two eyes. And uh, I think that was about it. So I think this, this guy pretty much fits the bill. And I found him on, on, on Thingiverse. Um, I'm going to definitely po post something thanking the guy out there and, and put a picture of it. Now, I also, I need to mention, I printed this at 200%. I've upscaled him to 200%. Uh, he did very well at 200%. So, again, I wanted something sustenance for a, 
for a five-year-old to take in. Actually, it looks kind of creepy when you hold it in your hand, if you will, like this. And so uh, uh, I, I'm actually thinking about printing one out of ABS or PLA, too, to see how that comes out. Uh, however, with the, the TPU, he's very flexible. So, I mean, um, you know, I can see this being knocked around, although it's one antenna is bigger than the other. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I guess he was genetically deformed and maybe drank a little flint water or something. But... Uh, I guess he'll hang in there and do nice eyes. Again, came out really good. I was impressed with this. I think uh, I think some of the the uh, the thinner stuff on the underbelly. I think I'm going to actually cut off. One of the things, if you noticed on on the tail that I that I did, was uh, used a bit of a utility knife to kind of cut some of the bottom away first, so I didn't didn't tear it. Well, I did use I think a little bit thicker. Uh, exterior um, yeah you can see that this, this doesn't really overly want to let go and, and, and yes I know I should not be cutting towards myself but trying to work around the camera plus handle this has been a little bit of a challenge however and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and, and uh, do a couple cleanups on uh, this with 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 the the utility knife, maybe get my X-Acto knife out, which is a little bit sharper, clean up a few edges, and I think what I'm going to do, you notice maybe a little bit of stringiness here on him, I think I'm going to hit him with a heat gun real quick. Uh, with, the, with being TPU and having been printed at around 250, hitting him real quick with a heat gun I think will do good to, give, to do away with all these stringiness. Although it's not as bad as I thought. Um, I was really curious to see how this would come out, and uh, I'm very happy with it. You know, again, one of the things, I've been extremely happy with the Wanho in general for a $400 printer. Um, it kills the Da Vinci's. Just, just kills the Da Vinci's. Now, I have to, I have to point out, I, I have some questions about the longevity of this with regards how the bed's connected and how some of the wires up here are connected. You know, yet I, I, I can fix my own things, so I'm not overly worried about it. Uh, so if they do break, I, I can troubleshoot and fix it. For, for 400 bucks, I, I tell you, I, I, I don't look back on this investment. So I'm still waiting for the Fabricator Mini to come. Uh, I know the second Chuck posted on his site that they were available. Again, I hit the buy button without even watching Chuck's video until later. Um, thank you, Chuck, for putting that on there. It's back now because I just went there and got it. However, it still hasn't come. So it appears to be shipped from China through Hong Kong and it seems to be sitting in New York so I'm assuming that there might be a customs hold or something because it seems to be that's where it made landfall or something from, from uh, Hong Kong. Uh, oh, the other thing I want to mention in a prior video uh, I did this this uh, filament arm right here so this, this guy really liked this for doing the TPU. One of the things if you watch my TPU segment and you can probably, I don't know if it's, it's up there far enough but this TPU likes to stick to itself and it's hard to pull. Well, one of the things, if you notice, and, and you probably, maybe this angle the camera can't see, however, the, the, the filament comes out and comes back in. And so when this pulls, um, oddly enough, with it being stretched out here, it's causing better separation at the spool of the filament and it's not dragging as much, I noticed when I printed this, because that's one of the things I was really concerned with this, is that it would go a little bit awry in, in the printing. Uh, however, no, no such, well, I don't want to say it luck, because it's actually bad luck. However, that didn't happen, and he printed very well. So, again, uh, I'm very pleased with this. Now, one of the things, too, talking about this, you might notice is it can, I kind of get irritated sometimes because it pops out of the, the holder like that. Uh, I mean, you just put it back in there like that. And when it's printing, it, just, it seems to stay in because there, there appears to be a, a semi-constant tension. Uh, with the filament going through here. So again, this this really worked out better than I thought it would. And uh, so uh, again, I would highly recommend it. I just still need to get down to uh, put the adjustments on the bed. Also, really love the light. You can see the light down here, and you probably in the uh, video saw the light. So you know, back in the video, I put the LED panel on the back. Really love that. I'm going to actually um, uh, put some of these panels up in the Da Vinci's and also my laser. Uh, cutter. I mean, for I, I think I paid under ten bucks for five of them, and they're twelve volt panel. I mean, they just throw off a ton of light, so I can't I can't complain about that at all. 
So anyways, I've rambled for quite a while. I've shared my bug story. If you have a grandson or granddaughter who needs a bug, um, try Thingiverse. And uh, hey, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hey, even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. Why not? It uh, helps me make more of these, gets more attention to the channel, and uh, lets me have a good time. So anyways, again, thumbs up. See you in the next video. Cheers.